Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Many, many good wishes. I am Yatikur Rahman, Assistant Professor of English, Bandarban Cantonment Public School and College. Again, I am in front of you with a beauty conducting another class. Dear students, I hope that all of you are very well and good by the grace of Allah. I am also very well by the grace of Almighty God. Today, I would like to concentrate on the poetry. You know that poetry is a very important and very sensitive part of your syllabus and uh, from the poetry you can get two questions. One is for the summary writing and another is for the theme writing. Yes, today my concentration uh, goes to the Dream by D.H. Lawrence. Poem Dream by the D.H. Lawrence and uh, this is uh, Unit 3 Lesson 2 and it is very much applicable for the student of 11 class. Yes, first of all, let us take a close study of the total poem. Uh, I would like to say that the poem is divided, can be divided into two parts, two stanza, first stanza and second stanza. In the first stanza, we get a pen pictures of effect, and the next stanza, we get another pen pictures of another fact and first one is contrasted with the second one there is a comparison uh, between two student please first stanza is consisted of three lines similarly second stanza is also consisted of another three lines let's take a reading all people dream but not equally those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the morning to find that it was a vanity student please concentrate on that question by night there is a a group of people a kind of people who dream by night in their sleep but next day morning they don't find anything real and they find only a vanity a big zero this is the general pen picture of the first stanza. Yes, let us take what pen pictures we get in the second stanza. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous people. Here, I would like to draw your attention. Dreamers of the day, another kind of dreamers, another category of people who dream by day. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous people. Here, the word dangerous also draws our attention. Here, the word dangerous has been used not to create a negative sense. Rather, it creates a very positive sense. To mean very sincere and serious type of people. The poet has used very intentionally the word here. Yes. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous people for they dream their dreams with open eyes. Their dreamers dream their dreams with open eyes and make them come true. Yes, these determined people, serious type of people, dreams with open eyes and at the same time they are ready to take any challenge to materialize their dream, to make their dream come true. Yes, that is the prime difference between the night dreamers and the day dreamers. Students, here I try to classify it. the dreamers, dreamers, night dreamers, and day dreamers. For the night dreamers, uh, I have just written some point, focal point, prime point, and for the dreamers, day dreamers some point to make a comparison between two categories first one night dreamers are very usual and the day dreamers are very serious second way night dreamers are non-practical whereas day dreamers are very much practical yes night dreamers dreaming unconsciously or subconsciously and their dreamers dream very consciously just opposite 
of the first one. Fourthly, night dreamers are the unreal dreamers and the day dreamers are the real dreamers. Students, yes. Now, at the end, what we get as a result? For the night dreamers, we get a result, a vanity, a big zero. For the day dreamers, we get result, a reality, a fruitful something. As they are ready to take any challenge to materialize their dream into reality. And this particular point makes a clear distinction between two types of dreamer. Yes? Dear student, please, from our dish discussion, I think you can get some gist point to prepare for the answer of the question for summary writing. And see, from our discussions, if you just formulate some sentences focusing the gist point, that will be the answer of the summary writing. But summary writing shouldn't be in an elaborated process. Summary writing should never be in descriptive mood. Must be, summary writing must be in a contacted form, in a concise form, focusing the vital point, main point. Here, summary writing and a bit different from the theme writing. It means that theme writing is absolutely different from the summary writing. Yes, the outward pen pictures and say the uh, apparent statement might be part of your summary writing, but for theme writing, you will have to pick out something important that is called underlying fact. This is for theme writing. Yes, theme writing, there is an, another restriction for theme writing. What restriction? What limitation is there? Yes, in the question pattern uh, for theme writing, you will be instructed not to cross 50 word limit. Within 50 words, you will have to complete your answer. That is the restriction, that is the limitation. Yes. Uh, for finding out the underlying theme or underlying fact, you students will have to take a close study. Even reading between the lines is very important here. Yeah. What what refers to what sense? This is the important. For example, for theme writing, we can uh, formulate some sentences in that way. Yes. Dream is very common to all. Dreaming is very common to you all, to each and every people, but it varies from person to person. Yes, dreaming in sleep at night turns into fruitless something. Dreaming in sleep at night turns into fruitless something. Whereas, dreaming consciously by strong determined people by strongly determined people having particular desire, having a fixed aim, these strongly determined people dream. They are the daydreamers, dream, they dream, keeping their eyes open, and they produce fruitful and meaningful something. This is the theme writing. Dear students, I think uh, the fact is very clear to you. I think from our discussions, you have got the this point to prepare for your answer. Either it is for the summary writing or for the theme writing. Yet, uh, I would like to suggest all of my students, if you face problem, take a close reading of the poem. First time, second time, third time, everything will be very, very easy. There is no alternative of having a very contemplated reading of the poem. Yet, if you face any problem, please communicate with me over phone. I am always ready to receive your phone. I will try my level best to suggest you, to guide you, to monitor you, to mentor you for your betterment. Hope that within very short time, everything will be okay. Everything will be fine like the before. Thanks, lots of thanks.
everybody for watching this video very short time within very short time i will be again in front of you with a beauty conducting another class and in our next class i would also like to concentrate on another poem thank you all